Hey everyone, today I'll be showing my thoughts about the ISFP personality type using Kendrick Lamar as an example. He fits the archetype of the ISFP being an artist slash composer pretty well. And in the clips I've used, he goes over how he approaches the process of creating music. So I hope you find it interesting and let's go ahead and check out the interview. Another day at the office. Yeah. <laughs> do you usually start with a track or do you, like how does writing work for you? Uh, it varies. Usually the time me and the boys get in the studio and I can just go off a, a simple drum loop that I like. Yeah. My process, it starts from just a whole bunch of premeditated thoughts. The process of me thinking about the ideas and what I want to say next. Yeah. You know, and by the time I get into the studio, I have to find that um, exact sound that triggered the emotion or the idea that I thought about two months ago. Would you have more than one of those going on at the same time? Like, might you have six of those before you go into the studio, or do you do them one at a time? Do them one at a time. Do them one at a time. So the, the concept will come. All right, so because I'm typing him as ISFP, that means that he should lead with a cognitive function called introverted feeling, just like INFPs. And because it's an introverted function, it's a bit harder to spot in people. But one of the things I've noticed is that it tends to correlate with very expressive, vibrant eyes that are connected with the inner emotions of a person, as opposed to extroverted feeling, which tends to be more outward, external, and correlated with facial expressions. So try to pay attention to his eyes for the rest of this interview to see FI. You'll sort of live with it and mm -hmm. let it grow in you. Yeah. Do you make notes? Definitely. All the time. I have to make notes because a lot of my inspiration comes from meeting people who are going outside of the country or going around the corner to my old neighborhood talking to a five-year-old little boy mm -hmm. and I have to remember these things you know I have to uh, write them down and then five or three months later I have to find that same emotion that I felt when I was inspired by it so I had to dig all the way deep and see what were the things that triggered yeah. the idea of does it always come back it comes back okay. it comes back it comes because I have key little words that yeah make me uh, realize the exact motion and what drew the inspiration. Beautiful. Yeah, man. Definitely. Definitely. It's a process. It's a working process. I'm my worst critic. <laughs> For sure. Tell me about that a little bit. Well, sure, Rick. Don't mind if I do. What you just saw is another example of dominant introverted feeling. Notice how important it is for him to return to the same exact emotion in order to be as authentic and true to himself as he can be, not only when he's creating music, but just when he's being himself in general. ISFPs, they'll give priority to their emotions, and it's so important for them to be in tune with how they feel. And just how dominant thinkers will want to break things down logically to understand them, introverted feelers, they'll want to be extremely introspective and break down their emotions to get a better understanding of themselves. It's a very complex and often misunderstood uh, function because it's just so introspective and deep. But an example would be like, okay, right now I'm feeling happy, but what does that mean? Is it joy? Is it pleasure? Delight? Have I felt this before? And this mode of processing information makes it really invaluable for creativity and self-expression. makes them very unique, and sometimes you can even see that in the way that they dress. Uh, you're uh, critical of your, you just want it to be really good. Yeah, uh, it's really about me challenging myself. I think my excitement in, in doing music is me feeling like uh, I'm never stagnant, me feeling like um, I didn't get comfortable in, in you know, my own skin of what I think is good or what someone else thinks is good, you know, stepping outside of my comfort zone and, and mastering it, yeah. you know, and that excites me. And when I feel like I've accomplished that, yeah. it just keeps the, 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 the hunger for more going. Like, yeah. I, I don't feel I can ever stop. Do you ever consider, so when you think about the challenge to yourself, do you ever consider the listener or who's going to, like the audience at all, or is it more like just self-expression? How do you uh, describe it? I used to. I used to consider uh, the listener, but now I'm in a space where if I'm not inspired, I can't really, you know, do the music. You know, I can't feel it. Um, yeah. I think I put enough hours and work to be able to pin a hundred bar verse 
on the spot at any given moment. Yeah. But for me to actually feel an idea and a concept has to come from me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I have to block out a lot of different needs and, and, and wants, you know, yeah. just for my own selfish reasons. But yeah. at the end of the day, it comes out where, you know, whether you like it or not, you, you know you're gonna know it comes from a real place. Yeah. And it's gonna feel I'm unapologetic, I'm not compromising, and it's gonna feel me. I'm really glad he said this because it's true. Sometimes introverted feeling can get a bad rep for coming off as being selfish, just like extroverted feeling can come off as being fake. But it just goes to show how important it is for ISFPs to be invested in their own emotions in order to be authentic. And that ultimately, guys, the cognitive functions, they're just energies. And like tools, it all depends on what the intention is and how they're used. Has there ever been anything that you felt like i don't want to say that on a record like it's like it feels like <laughs> that's a great that's a great um yeah. question i always said to myself if i said it on record i never retract my statements yeah. um, because it's my self-expressions you can have your opinions on it you can feel a certain type of way but it's how i feel yeah. and i can't contradict that yeah. at all you know and, and sometimes i do come across them 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 lines, you know, yeah. as, as rappers, as you know, we always have that, yeah. you know, that thing about us where, you know, it, it is controversy, yeah. you know, but it came from some type of inspiration and I have to say it, I have to yeah. be vocal about it, you know. And do you ever look back on any and feel like you'd like to change any of the, any of the things that you've written or? Uh... It'd be me saying I want to go deeper. I should have went deeper, I see. <laughs> you know, um, I shouldn't have held back, yeah. you know, but moving along I know okay you're not gonna be uh, in the box and saying what you want to say and that's where I'm at now so this is just another example of introverted feeling and being authentic to oneself and don't think for one second that ISFPs don't use intuition because they have an S in their name it's completely wrong and it's stupid if you're a human being you have intuition end of story content wise do you feel like you could talk about anything or do you feel an obligation to talk about certain things. I could talk about anything. That's great. Anything. I could talk about anything, and this is the challenge for me, being able to talk about anything and make it connect, yeah. you know, uh, to a listener, where the listener can either feel like you or feel like they understand you, yeah. or you have a, 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 just a deeper connection through the music with the listener. Mm -hmm. um, talking to a little kid and, and making that represent something and feel like something. Mm -hmm or saying the most brutal, harsh things on record where, you know, society may not want to hear it, yeah. you know, but still having that connection. And um, that's what I think music is about for me, period. Period. Speaking of connections, if you'd like to have another example of introverted feeling, I'd recommend the INFP video I did about Sylvia Plath. But going back to what Kendrick said, this is a good example of the FITE axis, meaning that when introverted feeling is so strong and in the dominant slot, it never wants to be restricted to or by anything. It wants to be open and have boundless, creative, artistic expression and freedom, while at the same time being true to one's own emotions. And usually introverted feelers will come into conflict with criticism from others, or being put into a box or being labeled, and that really sucks. But as far as ISFPs and introverted feelers, you guys just got to remember to have the discipline to keep moving forward and just keep your head up no matter what. Do you um, think about how to ask this? Let's talk about how you, you got to this place of, of doing this. Like what would have been inspirations along the way for you musically, lyrically, or, or philosophically mm. that got you to this stage? Oh man, as a journey. Um, I think first off it had to be how I was raised, you know, in, in an environment where having the, the idea of my father being, you know, just a complete realist, just in the streets, and my mother having this idea of being a dreamer, and me traveling the world and doing all these things that I'm doing today, it starts there first, you know, before I even heard any type of melody or lyric. Um, that was implanted in me first. That's just DNA. 
you know, or who I am and the things I talk about today. It's always the yin and the yang, the good versus the evil, and that's how I feel as a person. Um, and eventually that, again that, <laughs> eventually that, uh, that pushed me toward the music that I love to listen to. You know, and it came from Tupac, Biggie, uh, Jay, I mean, you know, your usual suspect. These were the people that was played in my household that not only I love to listen to, but it kind of complemented my DNA because these artists always had different perspectives mm -hmm. on life in general. And they put that in their lyrics and they put that in their music. And as a kid, I connected with it, you know, because I see my older cousins uh, going through the same type of feelings and emotion that these artists are going through. And um, as I started to write and dig into my own thing, it just progressed in that same nature, you know. Um, it's kind of funny that the cameraman picked up on this as well, but as far as ISFPs and their function stack goes, extroverted sensing is in the second slot. And from what I've seen, a good indicator of it is usually very fluid hand movements and gestures, like skill with the hands. And in that clip, you could literally see him talking and expressing himself through his hands. So what is SE? I like to think of it as raw power, kind of like the Stooges song, an energy that can be tapped into and wants to manifest itself outwards. And for ISFPs, their emotions, yes, they'll have priority, but they'll want to use them towards anything that requires action and gives expression and they'll tend to be attracted towards those sort of outlets. Some examples would be like making music, learning musical instruments, arts and crafts, skateboarding, martial arts, painting, drawing, sports, theater, acting. They'll seek self-expression through action. And trust me, even though Kendrick's demeanor might come off as timid, he's got a lot of willpower inside him. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here before this video gets too long. If you enjoyed, let me know by liking and subscribing. Uh, if there's any ISFPs watching this, I'm curious to hear what you think. But yeah, that's all for now, guys. Uh, peace.